In this demonstration, I'm going to show you how you can import purchase orders into QuickBooks Desktop from text, Excel, or IIF files using Z-axis. So what is a purchase order? In QuickBooks, purchase orders are used to send instructions to vendors for items or expenses that might be purchased in the future. Now, if you receive those orders or those purchase orders in text form or Excel form or IIF form and you want to get those into QuickBooks desktop then using z-axis is a good way of doing that. So if we have a look and see what a purchase order is in QuickBooks the first thing you need to do is make sure that you have um, purchase orders switched on. So within the preferences in go into items and in inventory and select the inventory purchase orders as active. So here's an example of a purchase order to a vendor and for particular items that are to be purchased. Now you may have purchase orders in batch contained within an Excel file or a text file or an IIF file that you want to get into QuickBooks easily. And I'm going to show you how you can do that using a software utility called Z-Axis. So the first step is to open Z-axis. And now I'm going to connect to my QuickBooks desktop file. Select QuickBooks desktop and connect. I click on the import tab and I'm gonna to browse to the sample purchase orders that I wanna import into QuickBooks. Now these can be text, they can be Excel, or they can be IIF format. And what you'll notice of these, the format of these files is all you need is a first row contains the column headers and then repeating rows of data underneath that. Now it doesn't matter what the column headers are because we go through a mapping process. I'm going to add a new mapping and I select the transaction type as purchase order. And then I'm going to map the columns in my import file to the corresponding fields in QuickBooks. Now in this example, uh, it's a very simple file, but we have lots of fields that can be mapped. Um, but the ones marked in yellow are mandatory. So I'm going to map in those as a minimum. There are detailed descriptions of what each of these fields are. If you click on this blue link here, it'll take you an article which will run through all of those. So once we map the mandatory fields, we can give the mapping a name. And click Save. So what you'll notice now is these columns have changed to the QuickBooks field names and only the columns that we've mapped will be displayed here. Now there's some more advanced options here that we can select when importing and we can use auto numbering um, which will use the next sequential numbering in QuickBooks. And we've also got the option to um, overwrite existing purchase orders or append to them as well. So when we're ready, click import Access will validate the data to make sure it's in the correct format. It will then go through a process of updating the lists to make sure the items exist in QuickBooks and then import the purchase orders directly into QuickBooks. Once it's completed, we'll get a summary down the bottom to tell us how many of these purchases have been imported. And we have the ability to click on this link here and we can see those purchase orders actually in QuickBooks to make sure they're exactly what we wanted. You also have the ability to undo these or undo the whole import as well. And once we're ready, we can click close and the import has been completed. So that's very simply how you can import purchase orders into QuickBooks desktop from text or Excel files or even IIF files using Z-axis.